When it comes to AI video generation, OpenArt has gone all in. They've got their new video tab with tons of features and tools inside it. We can now do text to video with seven different models. For image to video, you have eight models, including Google's VO2 and the brand new Kling 2.0. You can also create a video by combining several images or elements into one video, and they've added some audio tools so that you can generate your video with sound or lip sync. My name is Bob, and this video is sponsored by OpenArt. They're my only regular sponsor. Sponsor. Not that I don't have other opportunities, but I'm really picky. Once you're signed into OpenArt, over here on the left, you have this new Videos tab. Click that, it brings you into this, what I'd call a video dashboard, because this is where you have all the things for video. Across the top here, we have four options, text, image, element, and audio. If you want to generate a video directly from a text prompt, you want to be on this text tab over here on the far left. From this dropdown, select your video generation model, type out the prompt of what you want in the video and what you want it to do. If you you want to add sound speech or lip sync that's what these two options are for we'll get into that more when we get to the image to video section and below that you'll have settings for the video generation and those will be different depending on which one of the models you select the next tab over is image to video select a model and open art has really expanded the models that they have available it's nice to have all these options and some of the brand new things like cling 2.0 and vo2 to feed your image in here just click this button and you can choose from either uploading an image from your computer Click this history button to choose something from your generations or albums. Or if you've created characters in open art, just click the characters button and then pick from any of the consistent characters that you've created. In the image to video tab, just like in the text to image tab, you have these sound options, auto sound and auto speech. If you turn on the auto sound toggle, it'll give you the option to type a prompt. Like if we were generating a video of a beach scene and maybe we wanted to say the sound of waves crashing against the shore. You can also leave that blank and let the AI figure out what sound to put with the video it generates. If you want speech, like a voice over, you can turn on this toggle, type out the text that you want to be said. Now you are limited to 68 characters here, so you can't say a whole lot. Check the lip sync box if you've got a subject in your video that you want this speech to be lip synced with, and then choose the voice. There aren't many to pick from. I think there's eight here right now. Here's Serenity. Your story deserves to be felt. Let open art turn your feelings into visual poetry. Vivid. Ready to create something fresh? Start generating with open art now. It's that easy. Clarity. Open art delivers high quality visuals and videos. That's kind of creepy. Move down a little bit, here's Jovial. Jump in and create something wild. Open art makes image and video generation fun. Here's Vibrant. This season, give your imagination a gift. Generate magical art with open art. And there's a couple more, I'm not gonna go through all of them. When you hit the play button though, that's not selecting that voice, that's just giving you the samples. The blue highlight's telling us which one is selected. So instead of clicking over here on the play button next to Jovial, once I've played that and that's what I want, then I need to come back over to the left a little bit to actually select Jovial as the voice I wanna use. And you may be wondering why I didn't toggle this on. Once you start typing text in this box here, it'll automatically toggle that on and you're good to go. Just like in the text to video, the settings that you have available for image to video will differ depending on which model you choose. For Kling 1.6, you have the creativity level, the duration of five or 10 seconds, and whether you want the standard or pro quality mode. You also have a negative prompt. If we choose the Hilu standard, we don't have any settings to fool with. For VO2, we can choose a duration of five or eight seconds and set the aspect ratio either to auto, auto prefer portrait, cinema, or portrait. For Kling 2.0, you just have a creativity level and a negative prompt, which is optional. Now, let me show you some stuff I've been experimenting with here in open arts AI video area. What I was going for here is to have a butterfly come in and land on a flower and a dog walk into the scene. This is Kling 1.6. It sort of checks all the boxes of what I asked for, but the butterfly just sort of materializes out of thin air. VO2 didn't give me a butterfly and the guy is sort of just staring, kind of weird. Kling 2.0, it opens up with the guy sort of smiling and nodding. You're not sure what at, but then it becomes apparent as the butterfly comes in and lands on the flower. And then the dog comes in and his attention is on the butterfly, which makes sense. This fella sitting in the chair is anxiously waiting to hear about his wife and the doctor tells him some good news. The idea was to capture the change in his facial expression and body language when he goes from being anxious and worried to relieved and happy. And Kling 1.6 did a pretty good job with that. Kling 2.0 covered all the bases as well and gave us a little more animation of the doctor. VO2 has a little bit of a glitch because the guy sitting in the chair is wearing glasses, but then the front of his glasses disappears the earpieces stay, and then he seems to put on the front part of his glasses again. WAN 2.1 adds some camera movement, but it also gets a little fuzzy, and I'm not sure about this paper the doctor lays on the man's lap. 
Maybe he's giving him his bill right after giving him the good news. And it also gets really fuzzy and blurry there at the end, too. I gave VO2 another shot with this one, and it didn't include the glitch this time of the glasses disappearing and reappearing. Now we've got this lady that's sitting alone in a restaurant, realizing she has been stood up. This is with the Hilu standard model, and I also added the auto sound to this one and said soft dinner music playing quietly. Boy, so I'm very hard to see. As far as the video is concerned, I have no idea what she's doing with her wonky, weird hands on that napkin, and the auto sound on that one was just creepy. Not at all what I was going for. Here's the same image to video using WAN 2.1. On the video side of things, not terrible. The lighting sort of went in and out a bit. I guess you could call that cinematic and say you meant to do it. Otherwise, it did what it was supposed to do without any weird morphing or anything. On the audio side of things, that wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I might just need a little bit more practice with this sound prompting. Here's Kling 2.0. I think it did a great job with the people moving around in the background, the candle flicker, and her expression. The sound, again, not quite what I was going for, but maybe I needed to prompt that differently. I also ran this one with VO2, and for the sound, I said tension building cinematic drama. And that might have been an accident on my part, but here's what it did. I think this one's my favorite. She came out the most expressive in this one, and she does turn and put her hands up on that napkin, but it's not weird and wonky. It actually looks very natural. As far as the sound, based on what I prompted, tension building cinematic drama, I think it did fine. I just don't think that fits here, and I might have just forgot to change that after I created something else. The idea for this one was to have this guy fold this piece of paper and tuck it in a pocket. This one's from VO2, and I did add the auto sound with the prompt ambient city noise at night. He fumbles around with the paper a little bit, but doesn't seem to make an attempt to tuck it in his pocket. On the sound side of things, I think that did fine with giving us some ambient city noise. I changed up the prompt a little bit, still using VO2, but now I just wanted him to look at the paper and then turn and walk away. I left the same auto sound, same prompt ambient city noise at night. I think this one came out really good. Yeah, he doesn't completely walk away, but there at the very end, we see him turn and start like he's gonna walk away. Here's another attempt with VO2 to get him to fold up this paper and put it in his coat. He doesn't quite fold it. He separates it. Looks like maybe he's going to do some origami or something, and then it just sort of goes down off the screen. So I tried something a little different, still with VO2, but this time I wanted him to crumple up the paper, throw it on the ground, and walk away. And that didn't quite work out. He tries to drop it, but then when he lifts his hand back up, now he's got a crumpled piece of paper stuck to it. It was just weird. I beefed up that prompt a little bit, tried it with Kling 2.0. It got a little weird when he was crumpling up the paper and attempting to throw it down, but then it did really well capturing him walking away, and then especially when the camera points down and we see the crumpled paper in the puddle. That turned out really well, even the shadows of him walking away in the background. Here's another attempt by Kling 2.0 to get him to fold his paper and tuck it in his pocket. Instead of him folding it, it seems like he's unfolding it and it morphs into a much bigger piece of paper that he gives up on the pocket and just sort of puts it on his chest and closes his coat. Here I use Kling 1.6 as the video generation model, starting with this image of a painting. I turned on the auto speech, put some text in for the speech prompt, what I wanted the character to say, check the lip sync box, and here's what we got. This is what the auto speech option with lip sync looks like. Now, I would prefer to be able to upload my own audio rather than being limited to just the eight voices that they have available. I've made that request of OpenArt, and hopefully they can make that happen. The next tab after image to video is the element tab. And this is where you can give it up to four images and have it combine all those images into one video. So I've got these images of this kitchen, a guy, a stainless tumbler, and a dog, and I can combine all four of those into one video that looks like this. It used that image of the kitchen as the scene. We've got the guy, we've got the tumbler, although it added a handle to the tumbler that I didn't ask for. And then we've got the dog. To create that video, here we're within videos and we're under element. We can either drag and drop in up to 
four images in this upper box here, or we can click anywhere in this area and choose to either upload from the computer, select from our history here on OpenArt, or use a character if we've already created one. I had everything on OpenArt, so I went history, select the kitchen, click confirm. Now it splits this box into four boxes, one for each of the images we wanna use as elements, and you don't have to use all four, you can use two or three or all four. I'll click the next box, go to history, select our guy and say confirm. Go to the next box, click on it, click on history, grab the tumbler, confirm. Go to the last box, click on it, history, grab the dog and confirm. Then you need to give it a prompt of what you want to happen in the video and how these things relate to each other. So I said the man standing in the kitchen takes a drink from the stainless steel tumbler as the dog walks into the scene and sits beside the man. You could add auto sound or auto speech even in the elements tab. These are add-ons by OpenArt, so they work regardless of the model that you're using. Then choose the settings, either a five or 10 second duration, and whether you want the quality to be standard or pro, and of course, add a negative prompt if you like. I chose the five second duration and the pro quality mode. Now there's a lot of ways you can use this elements feature and combine up to four images to make a video. You can take two separate images of two different people, feed those in along with a scene that you want them in, and then describe what you want to happen, these two people in this scene doing whatever they're doing. You could use it to get a product image in a scene with or without people, and you can use it to give your subject a a wardrobe change. So you give it an image of a person, then you give it an image of a coat you want them to wear, or a hat, or sunglasses, or whatever, and then you prompt it to have your subject wearing the sunglasses and the coat and a scene if you want to add that too. The last tab we have is the audio tab, and you would use this if you have an existing video, the video is already generated, and you want to add sound or speech to that already existing video. In each of the previous tabs, whether you're going text to video, image to video, or element to video, if you use the auto sound or auto speech option, it's doing the sounder speech right when it generates the video. So your finished video comes out with them already attached. But when you have a video that's already generated and you wanna add sound or add auto speech, you can come to this audio tab and select that video either by uploading from your computer or selecting from your open art history and add the sound or speech after the fact. Open art's my favorite place to generate images and it's really cool that we have all these video tools now to be able to take those images I've created on open art and roll them right into video without ever leaving the platform. The way OpenArt keeps adding features and making improvements, I just can't wait to see what's next. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you'll come back and see me in another video.